conservation of plants and animals. The term conservation comes from two Latin words con which means together and servere which means to keep or to guard. People have been practicing various forms of conservation for hundreds of years. Conservationists are also called environmentalists. The earth has a limited supply of natural resources. Overuse of these resources keeps on increasing as the population grows and our standard of living rises. Conservationists work continuously to ensure that the environment can continue to provide resources for human needs. It does not mean that we have to stop the use of these resources completely. Wise use of natural resources with an aim to preserve and protect them is called conservation. Without conservation, most of the earth's resources would be wasted, degraded or destroyed. Aims of Conservation Number 1. To conserve and to maintain the habitats of plants and animals and prevent their extinction and damage to the food chain. Number 2. To reduce the stress on resources and rapid depletion of resources through conservation of the environment. Environmentalists being aware of the importance of forests are continuously engaged in conserving the forests. Through their efforts, not only they are protecting the trees and plants, but also safeguarding the diverse array of animals and microbes that inhabit the forest's habitats. Forests being a renewable resource will continue supply of useful plants and animals if used properly. Biodiversity. All living things need an environment where food and shelter are easily available for their survival. Air, water and soil are non-living factors that make the environment suitable for organisms to live, grow and reproduce. The interaction between living things and non-living things in an environment forms an ecosystem. There are many types of species in an ecosystem. A group of organisms that share similar characteristics and features and have the ability to reproduce among themselves is called a species. The part of the earth where life exists is called a biosphere. All forms of life that exist on collectively earth including plants, animals and microorganisms under the biosphere. The plants are the flora while animals make the fauna found in a particular region. Both flora and fauna together form the biodiversity of the region. Importance of Biodiversity all living things depend on each other for their survival. In this way, the organisms are linked to form food chains or food webs. Plants depend on animals for pollination, reproduction and seed dispersal. Whereas animals depend on plants for their food and shelter. Decomposition of dead organisms is done by bacteria and fungi present in the soil. The decayed matter adds nutrients to the soil and thus plants get nutrients from the soil to grow. So a chain is formed where each living being plays an important part to form a well-balanced ecosystem. Imbalance in the ecosystem is caused by reduction in number or disappearances of species which may adversely affect the ecosystem. Therefore, it is essential to maintain the biodiversity of any region to sustain a balanced ecosystem. For the survival of species and to prevent 
their extinction. It is necessary to provide wide range of food and other essential things so that the flora and fauna can adapt themselves to the changing environment. Importance of Biodiversity in Forest Forest is a complex biological system. It is essential to protect forests and to conserve air, water and land. Forests are important to us because they check soil erosion, provide raw material for making paper, control climatic conditions, prevent floods, help in maintaining the carbon dioxide and oxygen balance in the air, provide wood for making houses and make furniture, provide food and medicines, provide home and food to wildlife. In India, about one-fifth of the area is under forest cover with immense wealth of wildlife. The habitats vary from high mountains to deep oceans and deserts. These different ecosystems are part of the global ecosystem. India is rich in biodiversity. It has 7 to 8 percent of world's biodiversity and that is why it is called one of the hotspot of the world. Maximum biodiversity occurs in the forests. Significance of biodiversity lies in the fact that plants and animals are sources of a large number of useful products. Threat to biodiversity The major threats to biodiversity are deforestation, pollution in air, water and soil, loss of habitat, introduction of new species, wildlife trait. Deforestation Cutting down of trees on large scale and using the land for human activities is known as deforestation. Deforestation leads to great destruction of habitats of plants and animals. With the continuous increasing demand for land activities like agricultural practices and urban development, the forest area has been found to be shrinking. Construction of dams, buildings and factories has resulted in the significant decrease in land areas that were once covered by forests. Overgrazing of cattle frequently leads to the loss of grasslands. As the branches of bushy shrubs are trampled by cattle while grazing it result in severe loss of vegetation. The amount of carbon dioxide has increased in the atmosphere as there are less number of trees and we know that plants absorb carbon dioxide from air for photosynthesis. The sun rays are trapped by carbon dioxide which prevents them from escaping the earth's surface. This trapping of sun rays leads an increase in the earth's temperature and causes global warming. Consequences of deforestation Although humans have been utilizing forests and their products for ages, it is since the mid 1800s that the destruction of forest cover has been occurring at an alarming pace. Today the most worrying factor is the massive destruction of tropical rain forests of the world which is affecting biodiversity adversely. It has the following consequences. The water cycle can be affected by insufficient rainfall resulting in a decrease in the water table. As rainfall becomes inadequate, the water table rapidly goes down. Erosion of the topsoil by wind and water is common where land has been cleared for human activities. It also reduces absorption of surface water 
resulting in floods. Continuous erosion of topsoil may soon lead to desertification. It is estimated that we are losing 150 to 200 species of plants, insects, birds and animals every day due to deforestation of rainforests. Pollution of air, water and soil. Human activities caused not only loss of forest area but also polluted the air, water and soil thus affecting both plant and animal species. Loss of habitat. In addition, the loss of forests which serves as natural habitat contributes to the extinction and endangerment of numerous plant species. Introduction of new species. Introduction of new species into an entirely different ecosystem by humans may disturb it, which may affect the existing food chain. It can also lead to the death of certain species. Wildlife trade. Poaching or illegal hunting has caused serious threat to wildlife. Elephants, tusks, claws, nails and skins of tigers, rhinoceros horn, bears, fur, are the few items traded by poachers as they fetch a huge amount of money in the market. Exotic birds are hunted sometimes, which is also a threat to the existing species. Death, poaching and inability to cope with environmental changes can lead to the extinction or endangerment of species. Conservation of forest. Forest conservation can be achieved when the habitats of wild animals are conserved. The methods of forest conservation are listed below. Number 1. Aforestation. Replanting of trees in a forest is very important part of conservation. In order to conserve forests, prevention of large scale cutting down of trees is essential. Number two, prevention of excessive grazing. The increasing population of domestic animals has led to overgrazing, which must be controlled in order to save the forests. Number three, protection from toxic substances. Avoiding disposal of wastes from cities, agricultural fields, and industries into the forests. Number four, Planned method of urbanization. Habitat destruction takes place by large scale man made alteration, such as mining, construction of dams and industries. It should be minimized to reduce the effects on biodiversity. Number five, protection from forest fires. A forest fire can destroy many forests. It is necessary to make fire lines in forests at regular intervals and gaps. Care should be taken to rebuild forest line which are often destroyed. Camp fires should not be left smoldering. Number six, plant method of forest management. Timely and proper harvesting of useful products from the forest should be managed systematically. Plant methods to cut down trees should be adopted. Number seven, control of pests and insects. Sometimes forests are infected with pests and insects which harms trees, forest products and the animals living there. The breeding of these pests and insects must be controlled to keep a comfortable environment in the forest. Conservation of wildlife. Destruction of habitats is the main threat to wildlife. The construction of industries, houses, dams has left fewer areas where animals can breed, nest and feed. Preventing deforestation is an important method of habitat preservation.
planting new trees in the forest provides shelter and food for wildlife. By creating wildlife sanctuaries, we can protect natural habitat. Habitat can be preserved by preventing deforestation. The two important steps to conserve wildlife are preservation of habitat. The natural habitat of wild animals should be preserved to ensure their continued existence. Hunting laws. Government laws related to hunting and poaching should be made strictly to conserve wildlife and to effectively preserve the species. Banning of illegal poaching has saved some species from becoming endangered. Endemic species. Endemic species are species found abundantly only in a particular area and not found everywhere in the world. They may be found in a region or a state or a country. In India, Asiatic lions are only found in the Gir National Park in Gujarat. Golden langur and blue winged parakeet are few other examples found in India. Endangered species. Endangered species include those species whose populations are gradually decreasing to the point where they face a significant risk of extinction. Their population may decrease when they are not able to adjust to the environmental changes and die or they are killed. For example, rhinoceros, blue whale, Indian elephant and more. Extinct species, the species of plants and animals which have already disappeared from the earth are called extinct species. For example, dodo is an extinct animal and Cooksonia is an extinct plant. Threatened species. Species whose populations are declining rapidly are at risk of becoming endangered and some rare species are classified as threatened species. Example, black buck, nilgiri tar, etc. The government has defined protected area for conservation of biodiversity. Methods have been applauded for effectively led to implementing the conservation of wildlife and forests. The particular area where conservation of biodiversity is carried out and protected with the help of local tribes is called biosphere reserve. Biosphere reserves a biosphere reserve is an area in which multiple use of land is permitted. The whole area is divided into two zones. Core zone in which no human activities are allowed and the manipulation zone where human activities such as cultivation, collection of fruits and timber are allowed. A biosphere reserve helps to maintain biodiversity, ecological balance and tribal culture at the same time. The active support and participation of the government is needed to make conservation of biodiversity a reality. There are many governmental and non-governmental organizations, NGOs, working to protect, preserve and conserve the environment. Some important international NGOs with branches in India are the World Wide Fund for Nature, WWF, and the International Union for the Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources, IUCN, now called the World Conservation Union, WCU, Work for Wildlife Conservation. IUCN has published the Red Data Book with a list of threatened species of world. This is done to notify those species which are threatened with extinction with the aim of promoting their conservation. The IUCN also maintains a red list 
which is a compilation of endangered wildlife species and a red data book consists of extensive data species included in red list. The red data book species are classified into critically endangered and vulnerable. The red data book is revised periodically. A green book gives a list of endangered plants growing in protected areas. Some Indian NGOs working for the good cause of protecting environment are Center for Science and Environment, CSE Delhi, Bombay Natural History Society, the Energy and Resource Institute, Terry Delhi. All countries have laws to protect and safeguard the environment. Laws laid down by our government are the Environment Protection Act 1986, the Forest Conservation Act 1980, the Wildlife Protection Act 1972. Strict laws have to be implemented to prevent hunting of animals that are endangered. The hunting of tiger is banned in India since 1973. Though the trading of ivory, fur, skin is banned but poaching still goes on as the buyers are ready to buy. Proper management should be developed for preservation of animals as well as controlled killing of endangered species. Some biosphere reserves, national parks and wildlife sanctuaries in the country. The Indian wildlife has been protected in 106 national parks, 567 wildlife sanctuaries and 18 biosphere reserves. A large number of wildlife sanctuaries are present in India. National Parks National parks are protected areas set aside by government for the preservation of wildlife. Visitors are allowed to travel only within a limited area of the park. There are areas strictly reserved for conservation of wildlife, include flora and fauna and both. No other activities are permitted. For example, Kaziranga National Park, Corbett National Park, etc. Wildlife Century A century gives protection to fauna only. Here, killing or capturing of any species of wild animals is prohibited. A century provides protection to wild animals, especially endangered species and migratory birds. Harvesting of timber and collection of minor forest products are permitted. Zoological Park A park or an enclosure in which animals are kept for public exhibition. Botanical Garden A garden where we can conserve rare and threatened plants. Protected areas and what they are famous for. Name of the protected area Place famous for National Park Number 1 Kaziranga National Park, Assam, One Horned Rhinoceros, Ducks, Geese, Pelican, Storks. Number 2 Kana National Park, Madhya Pradesh, known for wild tigers. Number 3 Corbett National Park, Uttarakhand. Famous for tigers. Number 4. Sundarban National Park, West Bengal, Habitat of Royal Tigers. Number 5. Desert National Park, Rajasthan, famous for black buck, nilgai, chinkara, and the great Indian bustard. Wildlife Century. Number 1. Dachigam Century, Kashmir. Only place where Kashmir stag is found. Number 2. Nandan Kanan Biological Park near Bhubaneswar. Captive breeding of white tigers. Number 3. Bharatpur Bird Sanctuary, Rajasthan. The only home of the rare Siberian cranes that migrate to India in winter. 
one of the famous wetland and water bird sanctuary in the world. Number 4. Run of Kutch Sanctuary Gujarat, Wild Ass, Flamingos, Star Tortoise and Desert Fox. Number 5. Gir Sanctuary Gujarat, Asiatic Lion, Cheetal, Sambar and Nilgai. Number 6. Bandipur Sanctuary Karnataka, Tigers, Indian Elephants, Cheetal, Gors. Number 7. Century in Madhumalai, Tamil Nadu, Indian Elephants and Tigers. Number 8. Centuries in Annamalai region, Tamil Nadu, protect the most biologically rich areas of Shola forests, Tiger, Elephants, Sloth Bear. Reserve. Number 1. Similipal Biosphere Reserve, Odisha, Tigers and Elephants. Project Tiger. Project Tiger is an Indian success story of how tigers were saved from extinction by the efforts of the Government of India and various international organizations. Project Tiger was launched in 1973 and various tiger reserves were created all over the country. Now there are 53 tiger reserves in 21 different states. The 51st tiger reserve has been recently approved by the central government in Tamil Nadu. Migration The seasonal movement of animals from one habitat to another is called migration. Species like birds, marine fish, insects migrate from one place to another in search of favorable conditions for specific certain periods of the year before returning to their natural habitats. The habitat should be maintained and conserved so that the species can keep returning back to their habitat. This helps the species by not becoming endangered. Birds migration Birds migrate from one place to another by traveling thousands of kilometers for the following reasons. To escape the cold and other unfavorable conditions. To reproduce in favorable conditions of temperature and food. For example, Siberian crane. Science in the vicinity. The Energy and Resources Institute, Terry, Delhi is working towards sustainable development of the environment. Worldwide Fund WWF is involved in wildlife preservation and reduction of human impacts on the environment. Jim Corbett National Park is the first national park of India which has been made to conserve and protect nature.